Hello subscribers, welcome back to the live stream of AD&D's Gateway to Savage Frontier. Unfortunately, if you look at the screen here, when I got back home and I remote desktop into my home computer, DOSBox crashed. So we're going to have to redo that fight that I was in, the last fight. This is something that I've seen before. Every time I remote desktop into my Windows 8 machine for my laptop, it crash crashes DOSBox. I did not think about it when I had done it. But alas, it happened. So we got to start it up again. It's weird because it only happens when I do a remote desktop. I think we were on the third battle, so we, we don't lose too much there. But that's what happened. Hey there, Hom and Duncan. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? Yes, DOS box scam big time. Remote desktop DOS box. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> See, page 12, line 2, word 1. Magic. All right, I should be right by the final battle. Hey, look. Okay, good. We can just go back in. Move ahead. All right, I'm assuming it's going to be the same fights, but I don't know that for sure. I don't know if there's any randomness to that or not. Duncan says, did you find that special battle axe? No, I didn't. No, I have a stone cutting battle axe, but I didn't, I did not find a, that special plus two axe or whatever for the dwarves. We've got pretty lousy weapons. Almost everyone just has a plus one weapon. Okay, so we're going to move the person that has the most movement. Now that we know it's just only one person needs to move. There we go. So Jimmy, we're going to go to the same direction I went last time. At least I think I went this direction. Assuming it's the same. I don't know that for sure. We went up and around and then we went down, I think, and then back up. Yeah, it looks the same. Okay. Duncan says, oh, well, you'll have to settle for the plus three axes in the next game. If I make it, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to make it. Um, and before I go into the next fight, let's make sure I have everything distributed the way I want. Let's see here. Oh, Crevish is out of arrows. You know what? Let's give him some arrows. Uh, does he have a shield? He's got to have a shield, all right. I guess we'll give him that anyway. That's normal. Plus one arrows.
Tom says at least the game did not crash. It did crash. It did crash. I had I have to redo this whole fight. Give more to Krevish. Zachary. Nothing there we want to change. I do have plus one chain mail that will give us more movement. Movement of nine, movement of twelve. Yeah. Okay, we're as good as we can get. So this should be the troll fight. Yep, same fight. Okay. Let's see, Steely Pet, I think you have, yeah, you have the Necklace of Missiles. Use that real good here. Fireball. I think I did a blink with Draconic Dude. I'm going to do that again. Fireball here. Oh, it won't reach? Really? Range scam. Oh wait, he has a wand of ice storm. I'm gonna use that. Okay. Twenty six thirty six. Let's do another blank. Okay. Jimmy, let's shoot some down. There we go, Krevish being productive. Nice. Blinking. So if I move forward, he he will get a free shot at me. Minus four armor class. He'll probably hit. He'll probably hit Draconic dude. So I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm gonna go here and guard. Okay, perfect. Jimmy. I don't know if we can get a backstab against Eden. We're gonna try. Oh, Krevish ruined it. Okay. Continue through the map. Okay. Let's have Jimmy move up again. I think it was up here, if I remember right. Yep. This next fight's going to be the uh, Shambling Mound. Hey, Tim. Welcome back. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. The game crashed. The old DOS box crashed, actually. <clears throat> when I did a remote desktop. So I have to do all these fights over again. This was the fight I was on. So we didn't lose too much time there. Ten minutes. 
Okay, I'm afraid Fireball doesn't have a very long range. What's the range here? Delay. I think... I think I'm going to try to shoot one of the mages. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that guy casting. Ah, Tim's on a five stream watch streak. Nice. How far are they now? Okay, we can definitely reach with a fireball now. Oh! Oh, lost his spell. That's a scam. Okay. Bad RNG this time. Yeah, we got screwed there. Yeah, I showed it, Hom. Huh? You missed it. Okay, Zachary. Fireball. Bow got scammed. Lightning bolt. Do have a lightning bolt. I don't, I'm not in a good position to do a good lightning bolt. Let's kill that mage. Okay, how far? Wand of Ice Storm will reach. Not going to hit too many of them, though. What spell are we casting here? Is Fireball? Doesn't tell me. Assuming. You have three streams open now, huh? Wow. <laughs> Okay, I do still have another fireball I can do. I'm not sure I want to do that though, because I don't know what's I don't know what's coming up. I don't think I'm going to use it. What do I have on scrolls? Sleep, magic missile, magic missile. Okay. Otherwise, we can do. I want to do hold persons on those commanders, but I'm too far. Jimmy. Someone has the wand of defoliation. I'm not sure who that is. So I guess just shoot your bow for now. This one's got 18 hit points to him. Okay, Steely Pad. You have the wand of defoliation. Okay. Man, they're. They're not in good positions. I, I guess I can go here. Yeah, he's got minus eight armor class. So we're going to go here and use it. Not sure where to position it. Here. It only hit the one? Ugh. All right, how many hit points does this one have? 39. I'm going to try a stinking cloud. Oh, yeah. Take that thing out now. Okay, Jimmy. Oh, your armor class is zero. You know what? Let's move you over here. 
Let's let's approach this intelligently. All your screens are occupied, huh? <laughs> hey Moody, welcome back. How are you doing? Defoliation wand scam. It, it was. Okay, Duncan's got minus seven. He can engage. He still got hit with minus seven. Okay, let's try hold person. Use wand. There we go, that's better. Let's try to hold these. Well, we got one held. Let's leave him there for now, though. Duncan's my seven. Go ahead and move forward. Ouch! How the heck did they hit minus seven armor class? This one has full health. We're definitely going to do a stinking cloud on him. Yeah, I got it choking. Yeah, we're back, Jimmy. However, the game had crashed. DOSBox had crashed. I did a remote desktop into my home computer with uh, my laptop. And every time I do that, DOS box crashes. And I forgot about it. But it only took me about five to ten minutes to get back to this point. But that was very annoying. Hopefully leaving the game running didn't open us up to Elminster scams. Yeah, well, it did, kind of, because of the crash. DOS box crashed due to undercooked food being served. Armor class scam, Moody says it was. Okay, he's got armor class two now, but I'm gonna use the wand of ice storm here. There's there's too much, too many hit points here. Let's see, I think that's good. Right here. They take half damage from cold? I don't think I knew that. I always thought Ice Storm did full damage to those. Really? Doggone it. Okay, take this one down. We don't want it to get another attack. Same with that one. Five hit points, take it down. Come on, choke. Oh, it didn't choke. We're going to do another stinking cloud. I don't know what's coming up, but it didn't work. Six damage? Six damage Ice Storm. Three damage to them. I guess I'll try a old person again. 
So like Krebish quits wasting his arrows on him. Okay, what do you got, Bo? Lightning Bolt. Armor Class Zero, we're not moving you forward. You're gonna just shoot. Kill him. Steely Pat, use your Wand of Defoliation again. Oh, there's another one up there? Minus four armor class. We uh, we're not going to be able to hit that. I don't know what's coming though, I, and I hate to use up all my magic missiles. I know I have I have two on a scroll. Jimmy has two. All right, let's let's do one on this one up here. You have one, keep it. Okay. I guess I should use the wand of defoliation again. Because I don't know if we're going to have any more of these to fight. Jimmy's armor class is too low to move forward. Shoot the light crossbow plus one. Missed. Okay, we got him. We got him. All right, where do I want to move? Up here. That's a dead end. So we can go down here. We'll go up here. Okay, we're going to go up there. Just looking for an exit. That blank did not last long. Thirteen thousand experience. Wow, what the heck? What? There must be magic items here. Are you serious? Look at this. So it's the shambling mounds that are dropping all those. Because when I killed those shambling mounds with the giant snakes. What the? Well, everybody gets plate mail plus three. And a shield plus one. And a cloak of displacement. Including Krebish. Krevish minus four armor class. Okay, Steely Pet. You already have it. Draconic Dude. Cloak, Shield, Plate Mail.
He's got minus eight now. Wow. Um, Zachary. I'm assuming that's a bug. Jimmy. Minus eight. And bow. Everyone will have wisdom boost too if we want to <laughs> put the eye on stones. Alright, let's get composite longbow for everyone. Already have one. Yes. Crevice, you even get one. You already have one. Okay. All right, now, does anybody need wisdom? Duncan has 15. You know what? I think it might help with saving throws. I, I don't know that for sure, but he's got 18 wisdom now. Draconic dude has 15. Okay. Cloaks. All right, well, I don't know about the rest of this stuff. Doesn't look that important. Oh, but you know what? Hold on. These are commanders, right? Yeah, I wonder if that is magical. Detect. Broadsword is. Like crossbow and quarrels. Let's test out the broadsword. Look at the Thaco boost. So Thaco 13, Thaco 13, plus one broadsword. That still does more damage than the mace, so we're definitely keeping that. Our movement's too low now, though. We need to drop something. Our hammer. Upgrade the armor. Okay. You have, wait. Yeah, he has a mace plus one also. Take a broadsword instead. Ravish, what are you using? Battle axe? Broadsword. Duncan. He's got the sword of stone cutting. That's way better. Battle axe plus one? No, he has the broadsword plus one. Okay. Jimmy. Sword of Ice One Dale. And bow. Long sword plus two. Okay, I think we're good. I guess. Make some racers. 
Ah, so you have finally found me. How lucky we both are. There's an entire army up there, exclaimed Steely Pat. This can't be the way through. Let's retreat while we have a chance. Oh, boy. Oh! This is the final fight. Oh, man. And there's a ton of shambling mounds. Valgamon has got... 150 hit points minus 8 armor class. Man. I better start shooting the mages. I think this is the mage that cast, but I don't know that for sure. No, it's Valgamon. Hold person, draconic dude is held. Okay, we need to dispel that. Or do I do a hold person? No, 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 no. Dispel. Far are they? I think I can reach with this. Jimmy says, "End a long sword plus five that will buy many many snacks." Yeah. Is he immune to magic? He's immune to ice storm. Really? There's no way I'm going to be able to hit him. Right. Let's see if fireball will work. So that guy got hit. Not going to work on the shambling mounds. Do it right here. What? Oh, it's too far. Dang it. That was my dispel magic. That wasn't the fireball. I hate that this game engine doesn't show you. It does not show you which spell is active and who's acting. That is terrible. Okay, we're going to use this from a scroll then. It didn't work. It didn't remove the hold. We're getting scammed left and right, guys. This is a scam fest. Yeah, and my dispel magic didn't work. That's such a scam. Hey, Sever, welcome to the stream. Welcome back. Final boss fight scam, it was. That, that was such a scam. I cast that on him, and it didn't work. Did the fireball hurt him? Fireball didn't even hurt this guy. So he's got to have a minor globe or something. I'm not sure what to do here. I guess the damage on this mage. Old person's probably not going to work, I'm sure. Oh, these they're spread out so much. Wanda defoliation is not going to do anything here. I need to get in a better position. All right. Move, move, move. Move. Cast old person. 
Somehow we magically didn't get hit by Valgamon. That was a miracle. Yeah, unaffected. Figured. Okay, we got a stinking cloud. What else do we have? A lightning bolt. I need to deal with these mages. This is a problem. He's almost dead. Oh, the wand of ice storm's gone. Oh, we're so screwed. Okay. Wand of defoliation. Even though these are in terrible positions. Let's see how we're going to be able to do this. He gets to cast a spell and attack in the same round. Even that's a scam. <laughs> Whoa! Sever just donated nine gift subs to the channel. Holy moly. Thank you so much, Sever. Wow. You've gifted a total of nine. You just gifted one to final boss Nephi. Well, enjoy your uh, subscription there, final boss. Thank you so much, Sever. I really appreciate that. The uh, continued support. That's very kind of you. I need the moral support. <laughs> this fight. This fight, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. This guy seems completely immune to magic, and he has minus 8 armor class. I'm out of, like, stinking clouds and stuff. I think I'm just going to try to hit this mage. Missed it twice! How could we miss... What's his armor class? Armor class 3, I mean, we missed twice. Can't make it up. Okay, Jimmy. What do you have? Let's try to get some stinking clouds here. There's no position in which I can get 3. I can only ever get 2. So... I guess we won't do those because they're, they're low hit points. We'll go over on this side and do it. Yes, I'm going to do it right here because this guy can't reach Steely Pat, so he may wander down here. And he may walk into this little tile here. We'll see. Fail. Fail. Missed. Why? We can't hit anything. We can't hit anything. Miss, 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 miss. 
Okay, at least I predicted that. And you still have nothing good. Wow, we hit. Steely Pat is being suffocated. Why did the mage just get three attacks in a row? to go for those here Duncan says if you can't beat it then just run past it really you can just run past it okay Wanda defoliation let's hope we can kill these two Nope, only killed one of them. Let's see here, what do we got? Magic missile and a sleep. Kill. We can't hit the mage. We cannot hit the mage. I've tried to hit him three times. What is this? Is he blinked? Okay, this magic missile better work on him. Before I use that, let's check out hit points here. 49, 5. I don't like this position, but... One more stinking cloud. That one's nauseous. Okay, we got another one. Kill that one ASAP. Kill this one ASAP. You have nothing. Man, I'm never gonna have minus four armor class. Go after this guy. We have one more stinking cloud. There's a lot of humanoids here though. That guy's held. Let's try to hold these. Okay, we got two of them held. Oh, Duncan's charmed. Hold person. I don't think Lightning Bolt works on Shambling Mounds. Take this guy out before he becomes unheld. How many spells does this guy have? Steely Pat lost his whole person. This is ridiculous. Okay, 
Yeah, and Duncan's charmed. I'm gonna have to kill Duncan. Lightning bolt. You're dead, Duncan. Well, the good news is you're just down. You're not actually dead. There's no way we're gonna beat this. Yeah, he's immune to magic. Both of these are not held. We got one, didn't get the other. Commander's nauseous. No, 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 no. Oh, why did it do that? Really bad. So where's the exit? It's not up there. It's up there. All right, Bo. gonna make a run for it. I think what'll probably happen though is all my party will die. There goes Kravish. Like I'll probably permanently lose the characters but this is the end anyway so it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're back to two streams on. Huh? Let's see. We already know he's immune to magic, so the whole person isn't going to do anything. Yeah, it doesn't really matter here. We're just going to have him hold out right there. Curse worked on him. That's weird. How come curse can work, but maybe whole person can? Hold on. Unaffected. Now he can't cast. He's not. I can't turn him right. He's not undead, is he? Turn. Nothing happens. Last whole person. Unaffected. <laughs> I 
Jimmy's trying to hold out bandage. Okay, are they going to be smart enough to be able to get to me? Where are they at? Where's Valgamon? Yeah, he's still there. They look like they're smart enough to be able to reach me. Maybe. We may cheese this win out. All you have to do is move to the north of the screen and the other with that other character and you win. Really? So even though everybody's dead and we didn't kill them, we would still win? And the other characters won't be dead? That sounds weird to me. Because <laughs> what I was going to do is have us win by him um, by going too many rounds. If too many rounds goes and the monsters can't reach you, combat will end and you win. Yeah, I definitely don't know this game that well. I, I don't know it hardly at all. Let me try to do this a, a few more turns. Yeah, see, I don't think they're smart enough to be able to get to me. I think we can win this. I gotta be a little careful about that, those down there. Come on. Yeah, there you go. He's too close there. All he needs to do is move, move over here and kill me. <laughs> Sever says, run away, Bo. Hey, Zachary, welcome. How are you doing? Zachary says, gold box. Hello, shambling mound, owlbear, whatever the heck those things are. Yeah, I am going to go ahead and run up there because if he moves one tile to the right, I'm screwed. Bo got away. Okay. Is the game locked up? What's happening here? I hit enter. I hit space bar. Uh, I hit enter again. Really? Did, it, did this just lock up? Did this just crash? Are you serious? Duncan says you took the difficult way through the maze. If you went east after the first battle, then north, you appear in the same battle, but from the east instead of the south. Then it's a quick run to the area you just ran through. Zachary says, cowardice is punished harshly in this game. <laughs> what the? I think it's locked up. So you can just fight or run at Valgamon. This is really lame. I can't believe this is locked up. So we beat the game. But we don't even get to see the ending. Are you serious?
I don't know who to blame, DOSBox or Gateway to the Savage Frontier. Duncan says it shouldn't look up, perhaps because of the character deaths, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this this is really dumb. It's completely locked up. I'm doing escape, control C. Nothing's working. Wow, what a terrible way to end that. <laughs> Jimmy points to Duncan. Yep, well that was a big failure. Okay, well, I guess we're done with that game. That's the stupidest ending I've ever seen on a game. Well, I'm not doing all those fights over again. I did every single fight. We won. According to Duncan, we should have won that by running away, and it just locked up. So I don't even know if we get to transfer our characters from treasures, or two treasures, because I just have a save game file. <laughs> Sever says, I'll give you GG's anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Sever. I guess it's a GG, but that's the worst GG I've ever seen. Tom says, isn't the man <laughs> we will not name in chat, Jimmy? Did you check? <laughs> ah, thanks for the 100 bits, Sever. Appreciate that. Okay, well, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to transfer my game, but let's try. Uh, I feel like I had to do something weird to get this transfer to work. Well, let's just start it up and see, see what it does. Do I have to load a save game? Okay, load from gateway, load A. Can I use Wanda Defoliation? Can I use Coral Plus One? Can I use Ion Stone Incandescent Blue? Okay, this is the party. Yeah, and I, I lose all my plus three plate mail. I get scammed on that too because the dumb game crashed. So the question is, does Jimmy get to keep his 18 wisdom? He does. So the, the ion stones went away, but he kept the wisdom. Yeah, that was fun, but the ending was meh. I agree, Tim. That was a that was an F for an ending. Sorry you guys get screwed out of the, the uh ending scene there. <laughs> Jimmy says he's certainly in league with Krebish, if not Elminster himself, so he may be lurking in chat somewhere. Like man whose name rhymes with Biffer. Yeah, we at least got the, the party members pulled over, although we lost some stuff there. It's not terrible. It's not great. They lose the important items and you don't get the experience for the final fights. Yeah, we had gotten a lot of experience there. Oh, well. Let's see here. What else do we have? All right. Let's get copy protection going. Journal, page 18, word three, new monsters.
Late summer in the valley of Deseran is a time of subtle beauties and quiet thoughts. On a hilltop above Yartar, your party spends a lazy afternoon of food and friendship, recalling your great triumph, <laughs> your great crash at Ascor. <laughs> Sever says you should be well above the experience point for this game if you make new characters here. Hmm. No, Moody, we actually won. But the game crashed. We didn't get to see the final... Final cutscene. <laughs> okay, it must have been a dream. The green hillside has become a cold stone floor. Dark ceilings have blotted out the bright blue sky. Worst of all, the sweet songs of the birds have become the strident clank of armor. You recognize... Oh no, not this guy. It's a manitaz. Oh dear, he says. One, two, three. Ah, they all made it. I was afraid I'd let you out. Let out a word or two. Once, while fighting owlbearers, I summoned two white rabbits, three vials of sensuous silvery moon perfume, and a stuffed fish on a plaque inscribed to Old Boggy from the Boys. <laughs> Manitaz collects himself and explains to your party where you are and how you came to be here. It's, it's Eric again, too. Bid you goodbye and departs. Melzor, the dwarven leader, next to his party. Oh, his name's Melzor? I thought his name was Eric. Honored heroes of Ascor, thank you for coming to our aid. We will not stop the rebellion until... We throw off the greedy Zentarum who stole our city and killed our king. Okay. Wait, where it is? Oh, that's right. We lost the broadswords. Okay, magic, memorize. Jimmy, do you get your two spells? You do, good. Second level spells, hold person all the way. Probably should get a slow poison just in case. Um, thinking cloud, air image, spell magics, fireballs. Jimmy says, is the level cap raised in this one? Yes, it is. Oh, they changed the hotkey. They changed the hotkey. That's really annoying. You have to hit K for keep in this one, otherwise you lose all your spells you just said to do. K for keep, not E for exit this time. Okay, bow. Just get magic missiles for now. Let's get fireballs, keep. Zachary. Magic Missile. I guess I'll get a knock. Draconic Dude. Uh, 
Everybody gets fireballs for now. One slow poison. Spell magic prayer. Okay, that's it. Duncan doesn't get spells. Curse of the Azure Bond levels. Yeah, that's a lot higher though. I think we can get potentially fifth level spells on the magic users. And the half elves, I think, can reach level eight. The regular elves can reach level reach level seven on the fighter. So we should start getting attacks every other round too. Okay. The dwarf stops you holding up a map. You'll need this to find your way back through the secret doors if you need to rest. Turn on tree one. Come across a strange party with an Etten, Griders, and Zental fighters. They are all trying to move quietly toward the door to the north. Greet. One fighter starts to answer, then shouts, They're not with us. They're the dwarf lovers who've been helping the rebellion. We must be close to the dwarves. Headquarters attack. They went back on the Eden. I like the graphics of the other Eden, not this one. Weird. I wonder why they decided to go that route. So should I do fireballs? Yeah, I think so. Duncan says, this game is a pest. If you don't finish battles fast enough, reinforcements join. I call it the Colorado scam. Oh, I forgot about that, Duncan, until you just said that. I remember that now. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. And we also have the annoying sound effects. Clap sounds when you do fireball. Worst death sound ever. We just have major downgrade in this game. <laughs> oh. Yes, the gold box death scream. Most obnoxious sound effect ever. Okay, is this magical? Magic long swords and arrows. Well, the long swords are welcome because elves get a bonus with them. I have all half elves. I have one elf, but he already has a long sword. Okay. Let's see if it's a plus one or a plus two. It's a plus one. <laughs> Jimmy says, music to my ears. Guards attack. You're unable to escape. 
Zachary says, I want to say they went halfway Buck Rogers on the font. Yeah, you're right. They did. Yeah, it's kind of a weird font. They also, that whoosh noise is also a sound effect that's in uh, Stormfront Studios Stronghold game. The Stronghold D&D &D game has that sound effect. And I'm pretty sure Stormfront Studios is who made Treasures and maybe even Gateway. Timmy says, in the words of Ric Flair, whether you like it or don't like it, learn to love it <laughs> because it's the best thing going today. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible sound effect. How come how come Pools of Darkness, the last game, sucks so bad? And how come Treasures the Engine sucks so bad? When they're the the second game, the second and fourth games. It went the wrong direction. Can I rest here? This room is very dark, but you can hear something moving toward you. Zachary says, does that conflict with Jesse Ventura saying, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat? <laughs> and Jimmy says, cheat to win. Arrows are magical. Duncan says, funny you should say the sound came from Stronghold. The same sound effect for spells is also in Pools of Darkness. And that was 1991. Was it? The, the, that sound was from Pools of Darkness. I don't remember hearing that in that one. Hey, Steely Pat, welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, we moved to Treasure, but we got screwed on the ending. It locked up. So we missed the cutscene. We missed the ending. And I had to transfer my characters without all the bonuses. It was a scam. Valhalla here. Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, we don't need this. I remember this town. I remember the, the misspelling of horses, like horses. It was in uh, Gateway. They redid the Griffin, too. 
That's kind of cool. There's so many of these. Let's just do fireball. Not mess around. Duncan says you probably don't because you don't use the sound blaster for that game anymore. I probably don't want. Can hit the guy there. Oh, we have all of our jewelry and gems. That's good, at least. All this is non magical. This is the place that had all the um, Medusa, all the statues. Only now the, the walls aren't secret. Oh yeah, it is. It's the same. There were Medusas down here last time. Yeah, I think they got lazy making this game. redoing it all, reusing it all. Several Eddins and fighters are standing in this room, checking their armor and preparing for battle. They see the party and grab the closest weapons they can find. Fireball City. Westwood Studios or whatever, yes, did oh, they did these. They did um Gateway Savage Frontier and I think maybe Treasures. That was it. I don't think they did anything else. I think they did one of them. Maybe two. Step through the opening in the tower wall. Clear this area, says Zachary. From here, the Zentarum could launch a surprise attack. I think we're coming from the opposite side. <laughs> yeah, we're coming in backwards.
flap. Hey Cody, welcome. How are you doing? Westwood also did Order of the Griffin. I know they did uh, Battletech too. The first Battletech. Was that a silver box? I've never heard of Order of the Griffin. Probably wasn't even silver box. Flowers have been set against the wall. More text gone. Metal plate above them says, Lord Redblade, we shall avenge you. Someone appears to have tried to pry the plate off the wall, but has only succeeded in scratching it. Old Stone Fortress. And thanks for giving Cody a shout out. It was a gold box engine ported to the Turbo Graphics, Cody says. And Jimmy says, ah, I think I saw Duke Donuts playing that. It's pretty. <laughs> Death Sound. I just picture the Kool-Aid man busting through a wall going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to a little person. Delay. I think we can get a stinking cloud here. There, it looks pretty good. Jimmy says, I just want the skull animating as a Twitch emote. <laughs> Alright, we got a minute.
really? I thought those guys were incapacitated. <laughs> Nausea scam. Heroes are rather lame that we're still missing. We just went through a whole game and we still miss half the time. And it's armor class 4. <laughs> it's not like it's armor class minus 8 we're trying to, it's 4. We get a bonus of 20%. Scrubs, we should call the team Scrubs. Draconic dude goes down. Taken down by an Etten. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just realized how bad Duncan's icon looks right now. I think I removed his beard or something. He looks like a halfling right now. <laughs> Cody says, every time somebody mentions Westwood, I want to play the Blade Runner game again. Did they do Blade Blade Runner? Did not know that. Assuming none of that's magical. Well, I guess I better detect. Long swords. Yeah. I do prefer that over the mace that we're using. That mace is garbage. Okay. We'd best rest here, memorize our spells. This fight was tough, but we haven't defeated Lord Geldar yet. It was a point-and-click adventure game? Oh, okay, cool. Jimmy says Westwood had several point-and-click games, like Irandia, but a lot of games of the genre and time, they weren't very intuitive. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call quits here. We got going. I don't want to get too far into it with the next stream. I, I want it to be in the next stream. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.